Another win for the fans. That's right. After one season, Netflix has canceled Cowboy Bebop. After all of the disrespect, after all of the trashing of the fans that was going on, now look where we are. After one season, Netflix could not continue this series because they had no respect for the legacy, nor no respect for the source material, and no respect for the fans. And here we are right now. They continue to do this with beloved animes, and fans are sick and tired of it. Why did they think it was going to work this time? Now, I haven't seen Cowboy Bebop, the original Cowboy Bebop. I have not watched that. I have, in the past year, watched Death Note, the anime, and it was truly phenomenal. A masterclass in storytelling. I love Death Note so much. So then after watching the live action Death Note, I went back and watched the, tr or, I'm sorry, after watching the anime version of Death Note, I went back and watched the live action trailer. And I could not believe how incredibly terrible it was and how much it missed the mark. So I can only imagine how Cowboy Bebop fans felt when seeing this, and we've seen this time and time again, and it continues to happen. There's a reason that these animes are so beloved. There's a reason why fans are really attached to these stories and these characters. And then Netflix and Hollywood and all of these studios have to come in and just screw everything up with their identity politics nonsense and their wokeness. And then, to top it off, the actress, the actress involved trashes the fans. Now look at this headline right here. Cowboy Bebop actress dunks on fans who are mad at her that her costume doesn't resemble the anime version. How do you feel now? Did she really dunk on them? Doesn't seem like she dunked on anybody. Seems like she's out of a job now because she decided to trash the fans. She decided that she was going to be a typical elitist asshole and go after the fans and not listen to them and not respect them you don't have to do everything the fans say but you should listen to what they're saying and you should take that into consideration but the moment you go after them you've lost it's over with because these are the people that you are supposed to be trying to target these are the people that should be wanting to see your series and if they're unhappy then maybe just maybe there's a reason why they're unhappy. Maybe they're trying to help you. Maybe you should listen. But no, you wanted to go ahead and do this, and guess what happened? The end result is that, and you deserve that. Everyone involved with this process deserved it because you did not respect the fans. You did not respect the source material, and we continue to end up in this situation as fans, and we're tired of it. I just recently went through hell with the G.I. Joe movie Snake Eyes, which was not Snake Eyes at all. It was a G.I. Joe movie in name only. And it was so bad, it made the other two previous live-action installments of G.I. Joe actually look good, which was absolutely impossible for me to think could happen just a few years ago. But here we are, because we have activists working on these films, and they want to continue to hijack our beloved properties, but they don't want to have any respect for what came before it. They're just trying to hijack it and throw all of their nonsense into it. And the fans are not going to let that happen. The fans are going to continue to stand up for what we love and we're not going to let you hijack it with your nonsense. So I'm really happy about this. You get what you deserve, Netflix. You get exactly what you deserve. And anyone involved with this Cowboy Bebop disaster that went after the fans, you got what you deserved as well. And I have literally no sympathy whatsoever for you. Congratulations to the Cowboy Bebop fans out there. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I appreciate that. Um, there's a lot of news to cover, so I'm going to try to do several videos on several different topics. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just do want to continue to point out Odyssey. So please, if you guys have not, go follow us over on Odyssey. Um, I've talked about Odyssey a lot. It's uh, basically a YouTube competitor, uh, YouTube alternative and I think everyone would enjoy their time over here. Uh, you can see right there on the sidebar, bar, they have all types of things. It's not uh, 
a political echo chamber like a lot of these alternative tech sites are. This one has everything. This one kind of reminds you of the early days of YouTube, the early days that made YouTube great. That's what Odyssey reminds you of. And your favorite creator is more than likely over there, whether that be RK Outpost, The Quartering, Young Rippa, Krista Nova. I'm just looking at my feed right now. Uh, Salty Cracker is over there. Upper Echelon Gaming is over there. Um, so many other places. Obviously, we have Geeks and Gamers. We have Sports Wars. My personal channel, D-Day Cobra, is over there. Um, it's a great platform, so please consider following your favorite creator over on Odyssey and supporting them there. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.